do 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 do. People come on in, come on in. Whew. Hold on, my TV too loud. Right. Hello, hello, welcome, 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 welcome. Let a few more people get in here and we'll get started. Don't want to keep y'all too long. Oh gosh, y'all gonna have to bear with me. A little nervous. First time doing this, but you know, after the first time, it'll be easy. So, a couple more minutes, see if some folks show up. Play with my hair. What the, oh. oh, if you don't speak to me, don't speak to my husband. It's like one of the first shirts I ever made. <laughs> the noise outside. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, didn't want to make this too long, in case people want to go back and look at it. But I am going to apply HTV, HTV 651, like this to this wine glass. I uh, got this wine glass from the Dollar Tree. I like their stuff. It's pretty sturdy. It's only a dollar. Um, so the things that I use when I put vinyl on glass are a pair of scissors, um, my little pick, tweezers, those come in handy from time to time, scraper, and I did the Oracle 651 vinyl. I usually try to order this online. You know, bulk is cheaper than running to Michaels all the time. Oops. And when I'm working with glass, I always try to have some alcohol and just a rag just to get all the spots and fingerprints off of it so that way it sticks for a longer time. As far as transfer tape, Dollar Tree, I just use their contact paper, like the stuff you would put in your cabinets, and I just cut it down into the size that I need. Right. So the first thing that I do is, of course, I clean my glass. Mind your business. Just kidding, just kidding. Stop. Too wide that was open. Look at my towel. Luckily it's alcohol. So I dry it real fast. Just take it. And just wipe down. Wipe down my glass. He's good. Thank you, baby. And I just set that aside. Let that dry. All right, you can go, boo -boo. And then I have an air too. So I had already pre-cut the, the pieces because I won't take up too much of your time. But um, as far as weeding it goes, I'm old fashioned. I like weeding, but some people don't. Oh, thank you, get my Eartha kit on. Appreciate that. But, so. Just regular vinyl. I use the regular vinyl setting. I stick vinyl to everything. Oops, oops, oops. Oops, oops. Oops. And then. Oops. So here we have the stem. And I'll show you how I do the, the two colors together. And then here's the red part. Read this, weed this one real fast. <laughs> I hear that, girl. I hear that. Man. I like using 651 on mugs and wine glasses because you don't have to do anything extra to seal it. And it's pretty. For the most part, functionable. Uh, 
Don't do it. Look, should have made two in case I messed this one up. But I feel like snack. We are making after school snack wine glasses using HD H ugh, using Oracle 651. What I keep getting that wrong? Should do this too. That. 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 So, got the back off. I'm gonna weed the middle. I'm gonna put this on top. We're gonna put all this on this glass. Let me get these extra little pieces up out of here. Little ones there that get you. <laughs> oh, huh. That one. Oh, here goes my TV. And then. Oops, oops, oops. Oops, oops. Oops, oops. Get that. I just figured I just see a lot of posts and people asking about wine glasses and literally like a year ago when I first got my machine this is where I started at was doing wine glasses mugs and tumblers so yeah I feel like if you do them you do them right you can look like an expert <laughs> all right so we've weeded these the next step is going to be to use the transfer tape. I'm going to try to, you guys can, hold on, can I make that go away? I can't make that go away. Oh, well, bear with me. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. All right. So, again, Dollar Tree contact paper. I use it all the time. Cut me a piece. Make sure everything will fit. When I'm layering, I like to do it kind of like a two-part system. So I would start with my green. You always want to go from the middle out. Can I, uh, 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 out. Oops. And then, oops, hold on it. I just peel it off. Oops. So now I have my stem. And I find where I want to put it, right above the after. Oops. Just pick it up from the middle out. We don't get a whole bunch of extra bubbles and stuff. And this one. Scrape her down. No letter left behind, right? Sometimes you just got to go at different angles, go around. Some people do not like Dollar Tree contact paper. I had the expensive stuff one time and I ran out. But it was expensive, so I didn't buy any more, to be completely honest. And so we almost got it. School snack. So now we have, disregard that little piece. So. Now we have this. So just a quick recap. We wiped down our wine glass with alcohol, kind of spilled it. Um, then we took our pre-cut stain decal and put it on Dollar Tree transfer paper. And then what you wanna, well, what I do as far as, if it is a better angle, trying to get this as straight as possible this is a trade secret don't tell nobody water so 
I find about where I think the middle is of the glass. So that way I have like a, a guideline to where I want to put the decal. I don't believe it. And then I just want to eyeball it. Make sure my stem's not going over the top. And it looks looks to be about right. Um, another secret. When you're putting on a round surface, what you want to do with your um, your transfer tape is just like make oopsies, make little cuts. That way, when you're smoothing, it's not a stretch. They're more malleable when going around the um, the cup. So, just in those spaces around those three words is where I'm putting these cuts at. For the sake of kind of making it easier. Oopsies. Oopsies. Let me take off this little excess I got here. And don't mind me being wasteful. It's the Dollar Tree. All right. So, so I have this, and I've made my cuts. So that way when I smooth it out, it works around the glass instead of working against me. So that center, find my line. I'm so nervous. I'm sorry, my hands are shaking. Bear with me. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay. Shh. Look, I need a glass of wine after this. Okay. So I found my waterline. I got it through the middle of school. So my stem's not going over the top and my snack's not too far to the bottom. So now with this, you want to work from the center out. That's the way you're going to get it as smooth as possible, I think. And then you see where these, where these cuts are, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like bending. So it's able, I'm able to work with it versus it being real taut, tight, whatever. Oops. So smooth from the outside, got my cuts, smooth, smooth, after, up from the middle. So this is what we have. So we have our little bins and we have our, I don't want to make a mess. So I just like a little extra. When I smooth it down, I just like, like you brushing your teeth. Just real short ones. Want to make sure you get out as many of the bubbles as you can. But hopefully if you smooth it down good enough the first time, that won't be an issue. All right. So then we're going we're gonna to peel. Peel. You know, make sure everything's sticking. Cut. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Five if I'm missing the comments, I'm so sorry. Oop, I'll probably go back and... Oh, look, see, look, we got a whole bubble right there. We don't play them games, just take that scraper, smooth that sucker out. All right, there you go. And... Snick. Right. Oh no! So any bubbles, any extras, just take your finger and just smooth it out. Smooth it out. And oh, there you have it. And as far as the sticker on the bottom, how I usually get that off without it being all, you know, it gets all icky and gross. Just a shallow dish with some soapy water. Let that soak for about 15 minutes, and that and all that goo will just come right off. Right off. Go see if y'all have any questions or concerns that I can answer. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thanks for watching. I was like, no one's going to look at this. I appreciate you watching. Put this in the right hand corner of the video. I, but yes, they are. But you know another trick when you have the bubbles is you take a little pin like a, a push pin and prick it and then you can smooth it out. 
That's how you can get rid of the bubbles. Thank you, thank you. Um, did I mirror the image? No, I did not mirror the image. The only time I ever mirror images is if I'm doing iron on. So for like this shirt, I would have done a mirror image. For this, I just did a regular cut on the vinyl. You're welcome, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, any other questions, concerns, thoughts, feelings, deep philosophicals, beliefs? I just wanted to, you know, put the information out there. Just keep it real short for a reference if anyone wants to look at it later. You're welcome, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are too sweet. That, the girl, look, you, you got to tell them. Them happens out here today crazy. They don't know. But they act like they don't. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, you're very welcome. So, I'm saying you can, you can. Yes, I'll leave it up for a little while. I'll save it. Um, I'll do all that good stuff. Quick recap. So, Dollar Tree wine glass. Alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. The drinking alcohol. That's another cup. Um, a rag. And 651 vinyl. Michael's online. I definitely suggest ordering this stuff online. It's cheaper in bulk. It don't ever be at Michael's. So, just regular 651 and again, I used 651 on this mug, and I've had this mug forever. So, you don't have to do any sp special sealing. I don't put epoxy on them. I don't do any spray Mod Podge. Um, just you want to let it sit for a few days before you, you know, hand wash it. You know, just like any, H any 651 vinyl. And some soap and water will get that right off. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you all for joining. All right, then. Well, I appreciate it. I hope you learned something. If you have any other questions, concerns, don't be afraid to message me. And hopefully, I'll see you guys again soon with another tutorial. Ooh, the, the glass. How long do the Dollar Tree glasses last? I've had this one for over a year. And I've put this in a dishwasher. I've actually used this cup a couple times. I did the, um, the translucent glitter on this side and they both work pretty good thank you look she was a little fluffy had to get her together you're welcome you're welcome how long does the vinyl last if you hand wash it it really just depends on how well you take care of it because I've had stuff like this and this that's lasted over a year but I've also had stuff that, you know, after a few months, even with the 651, after one accidental cycle through the dishwasher, it, it was trash. Exactly. Hand wash only. The dishwasher is way too powerful. Thank you. Thank you. I'm channeling Eartha Kit. I wish you did that. Any other questions, concerns? Like, I'm here. It's like Tuesday. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> is there something else? I'm saying watch the video tomorrow. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll still be good. Oh, man. Oop. Sorry. Nervous. Knocking stuff around. Okay, come on, Patricia Smith. How do I approve? I think my Wi-Fi don't act funny. Just adding. Hold on, y'all. We're going to add Patricia Smith. See what she got to say. She might have some questions, concerns, some insights, tips, and trivial things to share. Adding, adding. It's working. Y'all bear with me. i never done this before. Is there a button? Ooh, that's fun. Uh huh. Patricia, try it again. It didn't go through. So I added the vinyl just using um, transfer tape, but for my transfer tape, I use contact paper, cost effective, cost effective, Lord, I missed. it's okay, just save the video, y'all can watch it later. Oof. 
So this is um, translucent vinyl. It, it, I, I promise you, this has been on this cup for over a year. It's like, I can't remember exactly, but I know it's a translucent glitter. I didn't like it because when I went to cut it, I couldn't see where the lines were. So I got really frustrated and I just, I said I was never buying that stuff again. That's how that happened. I was like, oh, this is gross. If you have a hard time weeding, my suggestion is practice. At one point, I thought I wanted to get that um, that light, bright board so it would show through the lines. Anybody got time for $80 for that? Um, I just say, just take your time. Practice, practice, practice. Practice. Patience. All right. Oh, this is fun. La, 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 la. Like, I'm that person right now that I talk about. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut it down. Again, questions, concerns, message me. I'm going to leave the video up, you know, until I guess they make me take it down or whatever. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye.